Hello audiences, it's Tahmeed back with another video. Thank you to all the supporters and subscriber. It's Tahmeed back here. If you follow my channel, you'll know that I took a little trip east to Newfoundland, especially western Newfoundland in the fall of 2022. It was around Deer Lake and Cornerbrook and those beautiful, rugged, smaller towns in the province. But today's video is really about the capital, St. John's, and you can't talk about St. John's without mentioning Cape Spear and the iconic lighthouse in Cape Spear that overlooks the Labrador Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. As you can see in the signage, this is a national historic site of significance. So it's a must visit, probably the first spot you have to go to. And when you go there, you'll notice the beautiful sea views overlooking the blue blue ocean from the hilltops. And there's a little bit of history for you buffs. Here's a hallway that was used for artillery shells and to store personnel during World War II when we were scared about the Germans attacking the shores of Canada. In many ways, this actually looks like some of the hallways of the university I went to, but that's beside the point. They have a lot of ancient artifacts. Well, not ancient, but you know, going back many decades, such as a cannon that is still preserved in its original form on the seaside. And as you take in the views, you can take in the fresh ocean breeze that comes along. Just enjoy the scenery as I run this loop. So yes, I hope you're enjoying the walk down Cape Spear as presented here and the beautiful views that this place hosts. And this is how the lighthouse looks from the other side down the steps. You know, at this point, you don't even need to buy a plane ticket there thanks to YouTube and HD and 4K technology. The second place of significance you must visit near St. John's is Signal Hill. As the name may suggest, this place does have a special place in telecommunications history. Not only that, it is the site of few significant battles in the history of Canada and of course an important military site. Hence, similar to Cape Spear, it is marked as another site of national significance and as you can tell from the footage more than the historical aspect today it serves as perhaps the single most stunning view 360 panoramic view around st john's from the city to the sea you can see it standing on a single hill it really doesn't get better than signal hill if you want to see it all at once now for those of you that want to be indoors, you might be a science buff just down the hill. You don't want to miss the chance to visit the Geo Center. As someone who studies geography, the place and the exhibits were very fascinating to me and they did a fantastic job of talking about Earth and even space. It just dabbled a little bit about the interplanetary connections and you know, how the Earth and the other planets function. And not only that, it is pretty state-of-the-art considering its location. They have some top-notch exhibits and even a theater where we saw this show where a hologram scientist talked to us. Rocks in the north of Labrador date from almost four million years ago and are once the oldest rocks discovered on Earth. Now here, inside Signal Hill within the Johnson Geo Center, you're surrounded by rocks that are over 550 million years old. During your visit to the G 
geo and you will see and touch these very ancient rocks. Rocks that have witnessed the most interesting geological times and events in the story of our planet. The rocks of Signal Hill were formed 30 million years before the first fish appeared in our ocean. For those of you that really aren't into learning, you don't want to go to the Science Center, the Geo Center, you can always hit the mall where they have fascinating attractions like this claw machine, which is quite hard to find in big cities, but you find it in the Avalon Mall. Now because it's lame, I didn't take much footage of walking around the mall, but Avalon and other shopping centers in St. John's have the same or similar brands and stores that you will find in other major Canadian city malls. It's quite impressive. Then there's those of you like me that go to different cities to try different food, seafood, especially that chowder, yum, and that calamari is a must try in St. John's. And if you go to downtown like we did, it's kind of pricey as you can see, but you will find specialties such as the cod tongue, which you wouldn't find anywhere else really. But we tried the fisherman's platter and it wasn't really worth the money to be honest. But if seafood isn't your thing, you can always find this sushi joint somewhere in the suburbs of St. John's. And as you can see, they have all those high big city tech out in St. John's as well. You have the robot here bringing you water and the robot comes back of course with what we came for, the sushi and also some tempura and other fantastic item that you expect in a, in a sushi shop and the service even if it was a robot was fantastic so was the food so there are food options and one last thing i wanted to say one of the negative things few negative things that happened this trip was at the airport of saint john's where unfortunately you remember that this is a smaller canadian city we encountered unneeded racism um, they really made us do the rounds and it was a terrible experience overall but you know it puts everything into perspective and we're super happy to be back in the big city in pearson in toronto after the trip overall st john's does have a lot of amenities a lot of big city vibes if you're looking for that and it's worth a visit i would say